All right, hi neighbors. It's John, your whiskey neighbor here, and I'm still in the Okanagan. Brad, my cousin, and uh, we were just at uh, Okanagan Springs. No, Okanagan Spirits Craft Distillery in Vernon, and um, I had a tour. Talked to John, not McEnroe. What's his name? McNamee. McNamee. Anyways, we'll look it up, and we walked out of there with this BC hopped whiskey. So we're gonna open it up, try a little bit with lunch, and we'll tell you our thoughts. Alright, back with Brad. We're opening up uh, a bottle of the BC Hop Whiskey. Do you remember much about the the whiskey, Brad? Do you remember? It's 42%. I know he said he, they filter it with like a cellulose filter, so it's mm -hmm. not a charcoal filter. And he said not a cold filtering process. Nope. But do you remember, is this all barley? Mm, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure no. that like uh, Tony, the part owner we were talking to, was pretty proud of their um, uh, barley, their local barley that they source. Where was it they grow? He, not coal. Cold stream. Cold stream. Yeah. Oh, I thought coal, is... like an old coal seam. No, 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 not uh, cold stream. Okay. Cold stream. Cold. All right. Yeah. Anyways, it was local barley, and uh, they put barley in a lot of their stuff. Actually, just about everything, even in their bourbon. Yeah. Right? Yeah, no, they use it. But I think this was corn and barley, though. I do. Yeah. And it would have been probably just over 50% barley. Yeah, I think it was a pretty high barley yeah. rate. All right. Um, younger than you'd think. Uh, mm -hmm. They release a few different spirits. They had a, a rye that was pretty young, I think around three years. Um, then they have a bourbon that's also pretty young. Three years mm -hmm. uh, and then they have that single malt that's all 100% barley that they age four and a half in ex bourbon and then half a year in like a like a wine from Quail, Quail's Gate? Quail's, no, Gate. Quail's yeah. Gate yeah 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 for sure and then this I was hoping was also gonna be five years but I think it was pretty young too I think he said it was right around the three-year mark as well yeah um, aged in ex bourbon though and not none of the um, port wine or, or rich wine finish so anyways what do you think? What do you got on the nose? Okay. Hmm. Mm. It's interesting. In, in the context of the distillery, I was getting a little more... I still get just a hint, almost a citrus. Oh, that's of course, this is not just a young whiskey. It is, but it's, it's hopped whiskey. Right. So they put some hop in the mash when they were fermenting it. Right. And then he said they did actually introduce a little fresh hop when they distilled it the first time. Right. I think so. Yeah, I like think they so. distilled this twice, mm. right? Mm -hmm. But, uh, so I think that might be where I'm getting a little bit of that citrus from. What do you think? What can you get off it? This is the first time I think I've had you on the show. Really, it is. It right? is. Oh, for sure. Yeah, see, you got to talk while I'm sniffing. Well, and not, no. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on this. I'm just. Nose. Saying, I think that would be a better. We both go. For this. Okay. Let's let's smell together. Okay. <laughs> well, there's some of that same essential spirit that I was getting even from their bourbon and their even their rye a little bit. There's right. something that, you know, I think it's that barley. But I think it's the barley. I think so too. Yeah. But I would say fairly mellow. Not high sugars. It's not bowling me over with like a corn sweetness. No, no or, not at all. Even though this has... I think it has some corn. I do remember corn and barley. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, the signature a floral is there. a little floral, yep. little citrus. The rest is just pretty gentle. Maybe we could let it rest a little bit, just pour it, I guess. Right. Mm. Sorry, went for a sip pretty quick. Mm. I, I would say a lot of their spirits have this pretty gentle mouthfeel. 
like at first. At first, it's it's pretty it's pretty smooth, smooth, very smooth um, in the mouth. Now, having said that, when it finishes for me, it wakes up a bit. It does. There's a little bit yeah. of, of um, you know, a peppery. It's not peppery like like the, a lot of the spice we were getting out of those rides mm -hmm. yesterday and whatnot, where you're really, you know, we were looking in your spice cabinet and trying to find, well, what, yeah. is, what is that, right? Yeah. I wouldn't say that kind of spicy, but but a little character comes through mm -hmm. on the finish. Um, but really, essentially, for me, light citrus on the nose and... In the body, pretty smooth. Maybe with a little, little cereal sweetness. There is some sweetness, but it's not overpowering in yeah. any way. No, I got, I got the sweetness as well. Maybe a um, hint of vanilla that I'm getting at, but not that burnt caramel sugars or like something that's a high mm -mm. bourbon or something like that. I'm just a pretty gentle. Pretty light, pretty smooth. Yeah. Little sweetness. A little bit. But the hop for me is more in the nose. Now I come back to it after you have a sip. I can get it more in the nose again too. Yeah, there's that that floral yeah. from perhaps the hop more than uh, than the green. Mm. It is a distinct yeah. floral, right? I would say though know, it's um like that's a it's a pretty interesting bottle. It's local, small batch, course craft distillery. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to talk to Tony, the part owner, and and John. I didn't get actually his role. I mean, he was certainly playing host with us mm -hmm. and knew the process and walked us the tour. Gave us a tour. Mm -hmm. um, you knew the head distiller there though, or the master distiller? No, um, I did not. Well, know. you didn't. No, but he's known locally for Peter. No, Peter Hahn. Yeah. Peter Hahn. Yeah. Oh, okay, but you didn't know. I don't know him personally. I thought you knew. No. Okay, well, I would say, you know, bottle at 42, that if you're looking for a, a fairly smooth, um, even though it's young, it's still, it's it's quite smooth, mm -hmm. um, fairly mild. Uh, certainly, there's nothing offensive in this for me. It's not uh, that's no. throwing me off. No, nope. But uh, the it's, layers are... It has a very interesting nose, I think. Yeah? Yeah. You got any other flavors you want to share? A nose yeah. or... You know, like, what do you it's get? It's just on? a unique floral on that nose, mm -hmm. which I'm... Assuming is the hops. Yeah. yeah. Well, it could be anything, I guess, but yeah. I, I would link that with hops. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I would say almost refreshing. In fact, like we put these in Glen Cairn so we can try to smell a little bit better, but I think this maybe on a block of ice on a, on a hot day would be an okay whiskey to have. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. More than really trying to get at the layers because I'm not getting too many layers. Right. So if I'm going to give this a star value, just putting it in the other whiskeys or bourbons that I've had recently, um, I'd probably have to give it about a three-star rating. I'd like to give it more because of its craft presentation mm -hmm. and, the, and the tour that we just gave or had. Mm -hmm. um, maybe three and a half because it is, it's quite nice. It's not, it's not offensive or mm -hmm. whatnot, but, um, but I, I, I would love to find a little more character than I'm getting out of this. Yeah. This in, in the end tends to be smooth and gentle, little floral. I'm getting citrus. But I'm not getting smoke or char out of it. Right. How about wood? I'm not getting a lot of wood out of it. Not initially. I was just going to say maybe, you know, after yeah. the end of this one or by the, if you had another little bit, it might, might come along. Yep. <clears throat> but the finish is, um, actually it's reasonably short. It's not hanging around. Um, I'm not chewing on it for a long time. No. But not offensive finish. No. Oh, no. No. So all right, three and a half maybe. What would you say? I'd probably give it a three and a half. Yep. All right. Yep. Well, thanks, guys. If you're in the Okanagan Valley, it's totally worth a tour. They, they really are passionate about what they do. And, and this is what they have for sale right now. They're actually sold out of their rye. Uh, they have their bourbon. I, I'm, their bourbon didn't really grab me. I, I felt, uh, again, maybe maybe really high barley made a pretty smooth bourbon. Right. Um, but I would want a little higher caramelized sugars in a, in a bourbon. You're thinking of a bourbon, so. right? Yeah. Yeah. But um, but we did. We had the good fortune of tasting their single malt, yes. which they only release in fall. I think the mm -hmm. next time they're coming out was on October. Um, and uh, Tony let us try a little taste, and it was great. It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. that was really that was really good. Yeah. I would pursue that um, for sure over what we tried. But this is nice. I right, certainly worth the tour, worth picking up. It's always yeah. good to support local. So thanks for joining us. Thanks, Brad. I think it's time for lunch. You bet. All right. <laughs>
Does that feel normal enough? <laughs> Very comfortable. 